What it do, YouTube, man? Peace and blessings out to everybody. It's time to hop in mug because we back with another reaction video. Now, it's been a long, long time since I actually did a reaction video. I actually stopped doing reaction videos because I wanted to make this channel into a biblical channel and things like that. But when it comes to this being a biblical channel, I still do want to do some type of entertainment. But there was a lot of reaction videos that I was doing. Uh, I realized they were... Uh, kind of negative on the negative side of things and it's not good to focus on the world i don't want the audience i'm trying to bring in to focus on the world because a lot of this stuff is meant to distract us and a lot of this stuff is negativity this is what people want to see all the time they just want to see entertainment something that's just keep their mind focused on something else when we really should be focused on building a relationship with god now there is nothing wrong with having fun and doing other things but like i said i'm trying to keep this channel bi uh, biblical now i do know a way i will keep it biblical and that is when i do these reaction videos i'm going to be posting a like um what's it called oh a bible verse at the beginning of every intro of the video just to make sure you know we stay focused stay focused on the word spread the word meditate on it and continue to move forward with god now in today's video we're going to be reacting to fake alpha male tries and fails to intimidate man number two now a rocco tv he um i pretty much mess with this channel It'll just be like clips and uh pretty much of his opinions of what he think about the world and things like that so don't be too much negative or anything like that but to get onto the Bible verse is we're gonna be talking about forgiveness. And like I said, this is gonna be random uh Bible verses throughout the video. In two seconds. So in Colossians 3:13, he says, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So we got to learn to forgive one another, no matter if that person hurts you, put this, put you in a position that you are in in today's life. Um, anything like if you hate, if you continue to hate in the world, you're going to put that hate into your heart and you, it's going to be hard to really come out of that because hate can really consume you. We got to learn to forgive and let go and continue to move forward. Don't judge others by what they did to you. Don't treat others by what the last person did to you or anything like that. We gotta continue to move forward and not let others affect our life. Because, you know, victim blaming and things like that are real, you know. When it comes down to these type of things that people do to us, we gotta learn to give it to God because God says vengeance is his. That's even if you believe in God, but Continue to believe, continue to seek Christ and continue to forgive because God forgives us for everything that we do. A lot of people don't even know that we commit blasphemy towards God because everybody starts off in the dark. Nobody really starts off in the light and understanding God and who he is and things like that. God is an introduction to your life because first of all, the world teaches sin. So continue to forgive, continue to move on and let's get into this video. Marco. Yo, what do I do, man? I asked you to keep your phone on, bro. Oh, you need to come see me before I leave, Flacco. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, man. Because they want to get you. I've seen them before. What I do, though? I'm in my business. you being he used, just, Flacco. He just said he the most wanted. But you got to stop letting niggas use you. Because, see, I know you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you let niggas come on your thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for one, you did some weird shit. That's your thing. But you let them niggas diss my hood, bro. And Wait, I can't, oh, I, can't, I can't control them don't have them there on your platform dissing. That shit gonna lead to some shit. Well, well it's not like my show though, like. Yeah, it's your show. Look, I got niggas from yeah. prison sending me this shit. Cause they think I'm here every day. From prison? Know, it's crazy. Show, right? It's your show. They focus on you know, the wrong thing. The title you got, is, you got them up there. Yes, right? Yeah, so either, mm -hmm. no, you gonna, you gonna yeah. do what you gotta do, or they gonna do it like you gonna have to make a decision, bro. Here, bro, but like, here, bro, right? think it it's this though, right? discussion, bro. So the guy in the red is called Wack 100, and he's supposed to be a big tough gangster from California that calls out other fake gangsters and lives by gangster principles, even though he's also the manager of one of the biggest snitches in the music industry, 6 9 Five security eight months ago. If I walk out of here and then come from behind me, out the staircase, hang, 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 it was already supposed to happen. I forgot about this. I don't know what kind of gun that is. No. <laughs> yo, yo, I don't know. I, don't I know didn't know that. Yeah, what kind of gun. Guy, what? These no. If they tell me to pull up somewhere, I never be like, yo, bro, you sure? What I say? 
Yes. Whack 100, when he said, come to LA, I said, bro, I'm coming. He's like, all right, I'm getting off the flight by myself and all that. Whack saying, yo, bro, get security. I'm like, I'm good. I said security. He said security. Six Nine turned it down in the DMs, but for you as his manager, would you advise him to take that? I don't manage Six Nine. You don't. What is it? I do business with Six Nine. Okay. So if you had a proposal for him, I can call Six Nine and get it to him direct. He yes or no me. If it's yes, then I'll send it to the proper channels. Get my cut. He gets his cut, and that's it. Now in this clip that you see, <laughs> Wax One Hundred's pissed People off, calling out this other guy called Flacco because he's saying that Flacco interviewed his enemy and allowed him to talk shit about his neighborhood. Now Flacco oh, is a insane. podcaster that works for Cut Twenty Two. He's not gang affiliated. He's not blood affiliated. Right. He's got no loyalty to Wax One Hundred. So I'm pretty sure he can interview whoever he wants without Wax One Hundred getting his little panties in a twist. But like in Flacco, I'm not trying to get nothing. I tell you. Yeah. Like, no, but it's this not what my I'm gonna show, do. though. Like, it's, this is what I'm gonna do, too, you know? This is what I'm gonna yeah. do. If, if it's you don't mind show. me asking, what, no, what, it, it, what it's exactly what's going on? No, it ain't show. You let him in. <laughs> huh? You let him in. Stop right. playing with me, Shit. nigga. But you let him in. I'm not playing with you, nigga. You but, let him in. You playing games. But it's not my show. You're a nigga playing games. I'm not Brit, baby. I'll start with you right here. But it's not my show, though. Okay, I tell you what. This is what I'm gonna do. When my homies get here, I'm gonna act like I'm not here. But it's not my show though. That's cool. You feel me? I'm gonna tell them it's ain't my not my show. But it's not my show though. Like you know, hey, I ain't gonna lie. You, you know somebody mad when they pull out the phone and just get doing something random. Put on God the in the heat of conversation. Whack 100. You're trying to calm yourself saying, down. If you ever have someone from an opposing neighborhood on this podcast again to talk shit about me or my hood, then people Wait, are gonna come. I gotta make sure I got. Uh, to, okay, it is muted. Yeah, let's do it. I'm through here, and they're gonna do something. And I'm not gonna do nothing about it. Just to remind you that this guy is nearly 50 years old and he's acting like this. All right, stop yeah, playing them games, bro. I don't give a f about none of this shit. Yeah, true that. And this is why I keep telling you, yeah. bro, stay flacco. They the, yeah. they the nigga from North Dakota. You letting these niggas drag you, the wrong niggas drag you in the shit. If you think that your platform is gonna be a platform they got to come diss my neighborhood, then you're gonna find out what it is. Wait, but like, hey, bro, but like, no jumper. It's not my platform, it's Adam's platform, right? And the yeah. show itself. Hey, on pop. hey listen. Hold on, no, no, no. What the? Flacco is not worried about it, bro. Okay, well, bring him Why he started tweaking out like that? Flacco on pop. Hey, listen. Hold on, no, no, no. What the? Come on now, bro. Come on, bro. It's fate, bro. You was way, way more than close enough to really do something if you really wanted to do it. But at the end of the day, bro, this is, it is nowhere. It's like, it was no, come on, bro. I ain't got no comment on it, bro. Yeah, please don't hold me back. Please don't hold me back. More like, please hold me back. <laughs> Facts. This man is nearly 50 years old. He claims to be this real old school gangster and he's out here trying to fight and bully podcasters. It's embarrassing. And what's even more embarrassing is the guy didn't even flinch. Someone said that Flacco got up walking like an auntie going to check on some greens in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Going out there. People are doing too much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he wanted Flacco to give this terrified reaction, but he never got one and ended up looking like a complete donor. Surely if you're some big bad gangster, you should be fighting other gangsters and not podcasters that clearly don't want any beef. Or security guards. You tough, right? You tough, right? You tough, right? I'm whack the pie with you. You gonna respect me, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your soup. You you know, for a big bad gangster, WAC 100 seems extremely emotional and insecure, especially for someone that's nearly 50 years old. And he now seems to be a regular on the No Jumper podcast, which is fitting, because his character and his energy really suits the place. I paid for the f***ing funeral as soon as it happened. I remember that. I remember this. 
Not here, bro. Not here. She done lost her mind. <gasps> Alright. Alright. Yeah. Wait, I never seen this with uh. I forgot what dude name was. Shark. No jumper be tweaking, bro. What did he do something to her? Oh, dog. Dog got mad and poured the drink on her. Damn, take it. Oh, man. Put that smart on my I don't know who shorty is. I can't tolerate that, bro. Come on now, bro. Take it. Shorty got damn their underwear Put on. That's smart on my last name. I can't tolerate that, bro. I need my fade outside, Lush. Cool. Um, right, man, let's get it, bro. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, pull your on, pants up, gang. Can he speak his yeah. piece? Lush, what the piece. F just happened, y'all? Well, what video <laughs> did you watch us going hard on the on a male or a female? You never seen us go hard on. Is that on Pornhub? Uh oh, here we go. Bro, try not to get your ass whooped. For real. On the I'm dead homies. For real. I'm I'm six up. Try not to get your ass whooped. I'm six up. Because you starting to veer off. Nigga. On my mama, nigga. Stop playing Bro with me. Bro got no jumper tatted on the side of his head. Bro, slap the shit out your stupid ass, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. <laughs> I'm just talking. Yeah. No, this shit is trash, right. bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm my bad. Yeah, I was no, offended, no, bro. Man. Come on, bro. You playing too much. I'm really not, though. That's no, like I'm the nigga spitting on you head. or something or like slapping you and bullshit. saying I wasn't trying to offend you. Bro, I'm not trying to offend y'all. Come on, like, bro. Straight up. Try I, not I, to get I, your ass whooped in this motherfucking game. Nah, he ain't trying to fight. Bro, from the head. He's not trying to fight. He ain't trying to fight. He ain't trying to fight. Don't stand up, though, dog. This I stuff hot for no reason. All that standing up shit, though, I'm cool on all that. I don't, I don't take that you shit. You can sit down, down then, bro. You like, standing you sit down up. And talk about it, bro. Too much for me. I'm out. It's not a clown. He says, I, I remember this. I remember this. this. You're a clown. Track. Mr. Old School. You ain't got no fucking money. Pull some money, money out. bro. You broke Every ass fuck nigga. Day fuck out of here. Bro. Use a my bum. bitches get me my fuck out of here. Them bitches dusty as fuck. Day, bro. Them bitches dusty as fuck. And you ain't got no bitches. I'm on track. Now look, now nah, you see, this is why I don't do reacting videos no more because it's just nothing but really negativity. Bro. Entertainment is becoming a very negative demonic industry. Boy, fuck out of here. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitch. Who are you? I'm Lil Kelpie. Who Kelby, are you? Kelby no one knows pimp. you. Kelpie the motherfucking pimp. Kelpie the pimp. clown. Fuck out of here. I don't know who I am. Bro, out of here. Fuck out of here. Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Out of here. He knows who the fuck I am. I'm getting money what? every day. I said you Ben said... Franklin knows who the fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a bitch, though? I'm calling you a bitch. Oh, my you know a podcast has gone to complete shit when you've got two fake pimps arguing about who the better pimp is. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! This podcast has turned into a circus and it seems that Cut22 knows that and he's playing into it and he's just making money from it. It went from a skating channel to interviewing rappers to now street politics and porn. It's pretty clear that Adam22 and most of his little crew need Michael. Stop it. Get some help. I mean, that's the end of that, bro. See, that's what I'm saying. It's really hard to react to some of, the, to some of these stuff. I don't even be want to upload it, but I'm upload this one for sure. We looking out for more reaction videos, trying to find something more, you know, entertaining to watch something funnier, I guess. But excuse me. See y'all later, man. Peace and blessings.